Hey queens, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. I am a zero-based cash budgeter. On this channel, we do all things budget, DIYs, playing with me, and so much more. In this video, I will be cash stuffing my paycheck for December the 16th, 2022. If that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we will be cash stuffing a total of, I think it's $670, I think. But let's get into it and let's get the counting. I have 100, 200, 53, 44, 60, 85, 40, 40, 60, 80, 96, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, I did not do a um a budget breakdown video because I'm not stuffing anything except for my variable expenses and um yeah that's all I'm really gonna be stuffing for the rest of the year is my um variable expenses, my sinking funds. I won't focus on that until next year, so I'm gonna stop all of that and then I'm going to go do another video and we're going to unstuff what i have in there count it up for the year and then we're going to put that to the side for next year because i'm doing a budget reset i'm redoing almost my whole budget and yeah so um first thing i'm going to do is jump into um my variable expenses but before I do that I want to change out my wallets I'm gonna give little baby a rest finally give it a rest because you guys know wear and tear um, on these things will happen so we're just going to give it a rest. You guys know I always switch out. And I think I want to switch and grab these. I'm going to use these for right now. Because I did do some envelopes for my winter theme. But I didn't, I didn't feel like getting them together, y'all. I've been so busy. My daughter just had a birthday. And... Oh, y'all, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we took this point right now and everything is over and done with. Because she ran me raggedy. Um, she ran me really raggedy. So, I'm going to take those out of my turn, And then, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot I had those Wendy's coupons in there. I'm just going to use these. I'm going to see. I want to see how I'm going to do with my money. Because I did have money saved over. Saved over. I did have money that I didn't use in my other, other envelopes. Because I think I just couldn't see it. So, I didn't spend it. And do I want to add these in there? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add these. I don't know. Do I have an eating out? I think I do. Yeah, I do. Um, what I want to do with these, I might keep this one in there. But yeah, I want to see how I'm going to do with this. So what I'm going to do is go through here and see what 
I have left in these envelopes really quick. Okay, so I felt the need <laughs> to be quiet and concentrate while I did this. Don't ask me why, but I did. Um, and as you guys seen, I did have some money left over in some of my envelopes. I think that was a total of $45, $55 dollars that I had left over. And then I have 75 because this was in my beauty envelope. And I think I want to... Um, I think I'm just going to put this in my eating out envelope. I'm just going to sit that there. Um, I'm not sure if I would want to keep that there. But I will put it there for right now, just in case. And I do need to kind of beef this up, too. I need to add some money in here. Yeah, so that is all for this. And we are going to get in here, get into this stuffing. But this right here is money I had, I made from my um, cake order from last week. <laughs> last week. <laughs> this weekend. I had that's money I made, so I'm gonna do this in a different um video. But I want to keep this envelope in here, so for my groceries, it will get its normal $100. It's gonna do a $100 bill. For gas, it will get its normal 70. I'm gonna do 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. Did I say it's normal 70 or normal 75? I'm not sure what I just said, but yeah, it normally gets 75. And we already have 25 left, so we have a total of $100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. And I still don't think I need any gas until mm, next week, maybe. But we'll see. Eating out has that 20. I'm not going to put anything. This is household. Household is going to get 20. So we have a total of $40 in household. And y'all, if y'all hear that noise, a lot of laughing, giggling, my daughter's friend is here. And they are having a time of their life. For I don't know. Y'all, they they're, they're so funny, y'all. They just find everything funny and play all day. But So if y'all do hear them, that's that's why um they're in there laughing i didn't even tell them i was doing a video so um they don't know but spending is going to get 20 and we have 10 already and i do have a project that i want to do i want to make one of those wooden signs to go outside my door and um i have some of the supplies but I just need to go and get the wood. So I'm actually saving up to actually buy my wood. And I want to do um, the actual round one. I want to try the round one as well to go on my door. 
but I want to do the long one to go up upside the um door. I y'all know what I'm talking about. The one I think they call them porch signs. I think I'm not. I don't remember what they call them. But um, so that'll be a project that I'm working on probably. Um, while I'm off work for Christmas break, I think I'll be doing that. I'm not sure what theme I wanted to do. I want to do that buffalo um, plaid, the red and black, y'all. That's been on my mind so heavily, and I actually have the colors to do that. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try it anyway, because I've never done it. Y'all know me. I'll try anything that has to do with crafting and, you know, try to go with it, but it's, I don't think it's nothing I plan on selling. But medication will get 10. And I did not intend for this video to be like um very chatty. But yeah, we're going to talk today. Um, about whatever pops in my head. I don't have anything to deposit. Lunch money isn't getting anything. Because um, I have been eating at home still. Thirst trap, nothing, and beauty is nothing. So, for the remainder of this, I'm going to use this for my copay slip because I don't have a copay um, envelope in here. So for the remainder of these funds here, I am going to put this in my um, month ahead because I have neglected that and I want to, y'all know for 2023, I think I told y'all that was one of my goals to um, at least have that halfway funded. That way I can have at least, um, I ain't going to say at least, but I just came up with this bright idea that, <laughs> y'all listen, okay. So I wanted to have it fully funded for a month ahead by the time 2023 hit. Y'all, 2022 brought along some things that wasn't expected, but I was excited that. I don't say I was excited, but I was glad and grateful that I had the money to take care of what I needed to take care of when those things occurred. Thanks to budgeting, I was prepared for, you know, the pop-ups that occurred. So, since I don't have that month ahead, what I thought I would do, and I'm going to try this, instead of doing a month ahead, I'm going to do two weeks ahead. If that makes sense. So the money that I'm going into with um, 2022, this fund, along with the rest of the funds that I'm going to continue to fill up for the end of the month, I'm going to try to use this money to take care of my funds for the first and through the 15th. And then on my next paycheck, I'll put the other half of the month in and take care of that for the 15th through the 30th, the bills from those days. If that makes sense, y'all, I, I hope I'm explaining it right. But maybe once I get it stuffed and start actually doing it, I can explain more and tell y'all what I'm actually doing. But I do plan on trying to get it funded by January anyway, so I can have that month ahead. But we will see. But if not, I'm going to do at least two weeks ahead um, for right now until I can actually get that month ahead. So what I'm going to do, um, set this my term to the side, but I will be pulling that back out as well for 2023. And I think I'm going to use that for my savings challenge binder. One of my savings challenges binder because I have a couple of ideas. But I don't know how it's going to work. So I'm not going to even put that on the table right now so i'm going to get my savings challenge binder and what i'm going to do is i'm going to count this and then i'm going to fill out my month ahead i already have 220 dollars in here so i'm going to count this really quick so i have 100 150 
So that's $445. And I don't have this broke down, y'all. As y'all can see, I don't have the $8, the $47. I don't have it broke down like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this $445 and divide it by 55 because every two that i was doing was 55 dollars so i'm going to see how many i can get with that so i said 445 divided by 55 that leaves me with eight so i can do one two three four five six seven and eight And then, will I have any money left over? Four, four, oh, I have an extra $5 left over. Do I have a five here? Mm, no, I don't. So, what I'll probably do is... I can do, I guess, this six right here and grab a dollar from somewhere. I know I have a dollar probably in my wallet or something like that. Or I can pull out a dollar from my savings challenge here. But 55 times eight is 440. So yeah, I will have um, that $5 left over so that's five ones too. But I'm going to add, I guess, another one dollar. Let me see if I can find a dollar. And I don't think I have an extra dollar nowhere. So what I'm going to do is take it out of one savings challenge. Oh, I can take it out of here. So I was going to take it out of my one dollar savings challenge. But I'm going to get it from right here. And make it that six. Now, hopefully, I don't forget to color that six in. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna do that first. Okay, y'all, so what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to add all of these up because I think I counted this whole row and then these four jars up here. But um, I'm going to add those up real quick to make sure we come out with 440. Okay, so that is the correct amount. It's 440. So I'm going to color in all of these and I will be right back.
Hi, I have everything filled in, y'all, and it, I colored that really right. Can y'all see that? Yeah, I'm outside the line, but it's okay. So I'm going to take all of this, which is $446. Oh, and I have a total of six sixty-six. Oh no! Um. So, what I am going to do is put all of this in here. And y'all know I have this $220 in the bank already. So, um, I will actually add that in here. I guess I need to put this one back in here too, huh? I guess I do. Alright guys, I hope that video wasn't too long. I appreciate you guys for stopping by with me. Um, and doing this cash stuff with me. It was totally different from what we normally do. But, um... Switching up things often is something that just come with, you know, budgeting. Things change. So, we got to change with it, I guess. But, yeah. um, If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload content. And leave me a comment. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, coming up into Christmas, I know I will be back on here before then, but have a happy holiday. Um, so I just want to get that out early, but I do want you guys to be blessed during these holiday, um, days. So, um, but I don't know why I said so, because I don't have anything else to say, <laughs> But y'all guys know, I want you to be blessed, Queenies. Okay? All right. Bye-bye now. Bye.